What's up guys, it's your boy Daniel playing Nintendo RPG Beyond once again, and today there was actually an update that I'm quite happy about featuring mode buffs. And in this video, I'm going to be showcasing and reviewing all the buffs that they've made. But before we get the video, I just want to notify you guys that I do a giveaway every two weeks of a thousand Robux. All you got to do to enter the giveaway is to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, and comment on all my videos I've made this week. The winner will be picked randomly from one random video recently made. I also do a giveaway on my Twitter giveaway link is in the description. So you guys can get on that, and now I'm going to be getting back with this video. Okay guys, I'm actually going to go from the top to the bottom. So the first one i'm actually going to show you guys is the gates mode basically you get 20 health 10 chakra and 50 stamina the thing is though you do lose like around two health every 10 seconds and as you guys lose two health you guys actually just slow down like you're in pain like you guys just saw and then the speed buff the speed buff is actually pretty good i really like it you actually go pretty fast i mean it's like it's basically like dashing actually you know it's the same speed as dashing so i mean that's really great i really like how they did that because now you can actually move to places and like you get things done by the way guys the mode powers are indeed the same they only like buff the stats and, and like the speed that which you move if you act a mode so that's all they did okay next one is the curse mode and you basically run the same speed as the eight gates the only thing that's different on this one is that you actually get 25 hp 25 chakra and an extra 45 stamina another important thing is that you actually don't lose any hp throughout time like the eight gates so I mean, that's pretty good next up we have the seven heavens now with this mode you actually run the same speed as curse mark and eight gates but you do lose four health every 10 seconds and when you do lose it you actually slow down as you guys can see uh so basically you guys get 15 extra health 35 chakra and 60 stamina okay the next one we got is indeed the hashirama mode and this mode actually leaves you quite a bit of stamina as you can see it gives you 70 stamina it gives you 40 hp and 50 chakra so i mean that's pretty good okay next up we have the joshua mode now it does give you 30 extra hp 35 extra chakra and 65 stamina now there was another buff to this actually is that the mode bar at the top left actually does not get drained it down that fast at all as you guys can see i'm using it and it used to it used to like shoot down super fast when you use joshua mode so that's why everyone hated it but basically this is what joshua mode does some people are saying though that, that joshua mode and shark mode is actually op i'm going to be talking more about that later in this video but yeah that's basically what the Joshua mode is. I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay, guys, next up we have the sand combat mode. I also like to point out back at the Hashirama mode that the Hashirama mode actually does more damage when you attack with it. But anyways, this is the sand combat mode. It gives you 30 extra health, 25 extra chakra, and 60 extra stamina. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is the shark mode. It does give you 40 extra HP, 35 extra chakra, and 60 extra stamina. And it's basically like the same thing as the Josh mode because when you go up to someone, it does indeed steal their chakra as well, as you can see. Okay, guys, next up we have the paper mode. And the paper mode actually gives you 35 extra health, 40 extra chakra, and 65 extra stamina. This is the next mode and actually the last mode is, is indeed the Zetsu mode. As you can see, this is what it does just for those who don't know. But anyways, it does give you 35 extra health, 35 extra chakra, and 60 extra stamina. But you guys, that's basically all for the buffs. I'm going to be reviewing them right now, actually. Now, my response for the modes actually not taking much mode bar away is actually, I, I think that's actually great, especially for Josh and mode. The Josh and mode was actually really trash before, before they actually buffed this. Like, it'll take your mode so fast away, even though the mode automatically attacks lock, it, it just took away too much. I mean, have you ever seen Josh and mode in a ranked battle? At least not anymore. Maybe in the past when people thought it was OP, but nope, nope, Josh and mode was trash but now with this update josh mode is actually viable and usable in both ranked matches and outside of ranked matches i don't think it's op whatsoever now the shark mode i actually think it's the same as the josh mode of course their shark mode is actually more op before it was actually buff but now with this buff it actually makes it viable in ranked matches as well now in my opinion or my thought i the reason i think that they actually buff the modes as of right now is because no one used them let's just ask yourself have you ever seen anyone in rank match used modes frequently? I'm not sure about you guys, but I haven't. I played 75 games like a few days ago and not once did I see a mode. And now since with this update, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to use modes uh, because like legit with both mode and Kiki Kenkai on at the top left, you actually see my mode bar and it's actually not decreasing that fast at all. I can actually keep using both of these for like at least a minute or two. So I mean, that's great. I actually really do love this update. I actually make modes viable. Now, 
on with this part actually as you guys can see right here it actually stopped every single like second it only popped up for a few seconds it only gives you 10 chakra i'm pretty sure it didn't do that before i'm not sure but i know for a fact joshua mode it hit more than it used to now as you can see it only does a, like once every like two seconds but before it used to hit a lot a little bit faster at least and it does actually steal health and tracker for those who don't know i mean it's pretty good it's actually pretty viable by the way guys if you guys actually don't have a cookie king kai activated and only have a mode at the top left you can actually see my mode bar regenerating faster than depleting so i mean if you guys don't use your cookie kai and only use modes you can actually not lose any mode bar whatsoever <clears throat> but you yeah, guys that's basically it for this video all i'm saying is that the joshua mode and the shark mode are actually not op i'm pretty sure that they're pretty balanced as of late and they are both akatsuki scrolls so even if they're a little bit more powerful than the other modes i think that they're fine but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching and about that twitter giveaway to join it just follow me at donobyyt like my name right now link in the description and once you get to my twitter profile just find my giveaway link and follow the steps from there also subscribe if you guys like my content like this video if this helped you in any way and comment any question you guys have down below i'll try to get to them and answer them but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace